for. Um, you can use prime factorization, but the main important thing what I want you guys to understand is, again, I want to be able to rewrite this as numbers raised to the fourth power. So if I look over here, what actually is 2 to the fourth power? What number is this? Huh? All right, let's put it this way. I know. Huh? It's 16. Yeah. OK. So what I'm saying is, can I rewrite 16 times a number to give me 64? Yes. How many times? 4. 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 times 16 times 4. I'm going to rewrite x to the 8th. Remember, I want to rewrite it as the power to 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as x to the 4th times x to the 4th times y. Does everybody agree with me what I did? Yeah. Yeah. Now, do we know, can I rewrite 16 as 2 to the 4th power? Yes. Now, remember, what using it this way, every single power, every single exponent that's raised to the fourth power, I can take the fourth root of. So the fourth root of 2 to the fourth power is 2. The fourth root of x to the fourth power is x. Fourth root of x to the fourth power is x. So what is still left over in my, under my radical? 4 y. Then I just simplify the x squared. So 2x squared, 4. 4y. That's it. So we're going to 